Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be talking about another concept which is that of extension of an operator. So first of all, let's understand what is this extension that we are talking about and then we'll see more results onto this extension. So to understand what is this extension here, so for that we define an operator T from x to y where both x and y they are normed spaces right so this is the operator we have t it is given to us that this operator is compact linear operator so what we are saying here we are saying that we can extend this operator t to the operator t tilde this sign over here that is not called tilde right few of you might knew this already However, you should know this thing is tilde. Okay. So now we are saying T could be extended to T tilde and the domain space, the norm space X has now been converted to X cap where what is this X cap? That is the space which is a complete space of x. So that means whatever is remaining in the space x, we add all those things, make the space complete, we call that to be x cap and we define operator t tilde from this x cap to the space y, right? So basically what we are doing, we are extending the space x and then onto this extended space x, we are then extending the operator t such that it is now defined from this extended space x cap which is the complete space corresponding to x to the norm space y. So this is the idea here and initially we started with compact linear operator. So now the question is whether by applying all this operation and by extending the space and then extending the op operator here whether this operator is also a compact linear operator? So the answer is yes. It is a compact linear operator and in fact this theorem here tells you the same thing. It tells you that a compact linear operator from a normed space x into a Banach space y. Now this condition is required for this to be a compact linear extension. So they say if you define a compact linear operator from the normed space x to the Banach space y then the operator which is an extension is also compact linear operator. So this extension t tilde where x cap is the completion of x is also compact linear operator. So this is what this result says. So here we assume that the operator t is given to be compact and we shall prove the operator t tilde this is also compact operator right so now we start by saying that the space x is nothing but the subspace of this space x cap why because we are saying this to be the extension of this space so we are saying this to be the completion of the space x so Obviously, the space x could be regarded as a subspace of the space x cap, right? Okay, so we say this x space is a subspace of the space x cap. Now, t is bounded, so it has a bounded linear extension. Now, how this is bounded? Because every compact operator is bounded that you already know. So, because t is bounded, it has a bounded linear extension t tilde. How this is possible? By using this result. This result says if you have some operator t defined from the domain of t to some space y, if this is a bounded linear operator where the domain of t lies in the normed space x and y is a Banach space which is there in our case also, then t has an extension t tilde defined from the t closure, the domain of t closure to y where this t tilde is also a bounded linear operator having norm same as that of the norm of t, right? So basically from bounded operator 
we have reached to the bounded operator which is an extension now we wanted to say given a compact linear operator we wanted to move to uh, an extension which is also compact linear operator right so here we show the compactness of the operator t assuming that the operator t is compact now if the operator t is compact that means according to the definition for any bounded sequence we have the image of that sequence which has a convergence subsequence right this is the convergence criteria so this thing is known for t however we wanted to prove this thing for t tilde so for that we wanted to prove that for any arbitrary bounded sequence in t tilde it would have a the image would have a convergent subsequence so we call that sequence to be x n cap in x cap and show that t tilde when applied on to this x n cap has a convergent subsequence right now because x is a subspace for the space x cap this is dense in x cap so we would say there would be a sequence xn in x such that the difference between the sequence xn and the sequence xn cap is approaches zero right so when we move when we increase this index n so the difference approaches zero so the two sequences they are uh, they are coming closer and closer to each other say so this is the case so we would say the distance would eventually become zero after some time and not exactly equal to zero right okay so because the sequence x and cap we have assumed this to be bounded sequence so therefore the corresponding sequence x n also has to be bounded why because they too have the similar behavior now because t is given to be compact operator so when you apply this t on to the sequence xn here so you would obtain an a, a convergent subsequence But why because t is compact and according to compactness criteria we have this thing so we have a convergent subsequence t xn k right k for the subsequence now because this subsequence is convergent we say it converges to some point y not in the banach space capital y and we call this to be equation 1 here now because xn sequence xn cap sequence converges to xn sequence that means xn uh, ha, sorry xn ha, uh, cap minus xn approaches zero so their subsequences would also approach zero so this is the result here and moreover t tilde is linear and bounded t tilde is linear and bounded from here from this theorem it is bounded as well as linear so it is also continuous using this result that a map a mapping from a metric space onto another metric space is continuous at a point x 0 is equal uh, belonging to x if and only if x n implies x not implies t x n implies t x not and this is happening in our case so it is continuous now because it is continuous so we can apply this result onto our sequence so what is this result here it says whenever we have x uh, x n k cap minus x n k approaching zero so we can apply t on to both sides so that we would have t tilde x cap n k minus t of x n k now here instead of t x n k we can take the term t tilde x n k why because t tilde is nothing but the extension of this uh, t and because all of these sequences they are present in x so therefore x is a subset of the sequence x cap therefore this is also present in this so we can apply t tilde on to this sequence so if you consider here this term 
So according to this term, we can write this to be t tilde. So we can take t tilde common from here and we will be left with x n k cap minus x n k. Now this thing, because it is approaching zero, therefore we have t tilde zero and because t tilde is linear, so we have zero here. So that means we started from t tilde x n k. This thing approaches t n k because now we, we can write t tilde of x cap n k minus t of x n k this thing approaches zero so that means this sequence would converge to this sequence and what was this it was further converging to y zero from here from equation one so therefore the sequence t tilde x n k also converges to y naught right so this is the thing so that means we started from any arbitrary bounded sequence x n cap and we have proved that it has a subsequence x n cap such that when we apply t tilde onto the sequence, the sequence converges. So that means for any arbitrary bounded sequence in capital X cap, we have a subsequence when whose image is convergent, right? So this proved that the operator t tilde that is a compact operator and this is what we wanted to prove here. So in this video, we have learned about the first of all how uh, how we can extend the operator the compact linear operator and next we have also proved that whenever you have an extension of such kind that extension is also compact in itself so i hope you understood this concept well that is it for this video thank you for watching